A particle originally at rest and located at point 3 feet, 2 feet, 5 feet is subjected to an acceleration of A equals 6Ti plus 12T squared K feet per second squared. Determine the particle's position XYZ at T equals 1. So as always, let's just start by writing down what we know. So we know A equals dV dt, and we know that position, or we know velocity is the derivative of position with respect to time. So you'll find, at least this is something that I always remember from this class, is that really like they ask you they give you the acceleration but they want the position so you kind of got to work for it and you're going to have to be using other equations you know to go through a couple steps to give them what they're asking for so let's start by using the equation we have for acceleration so we know that that equals 6ti plus 12t squared k okay. And that's going to equal dv dt. So if we want to get our velocity, we're going to take the integral from 0 to v dv. And from 0 to t of this expression for acceleration plus 12t squared. Okay, oops, meant to include that in there, dt. So this is going to simplify out to give us velocity equals 3t squared i plus 4t cubed k feet per second. So for position, we can say that v equals dr dt. So dr equals v dt. So let's take the integral again. So that's going to give us between r1 and r dr r1 just being our starting point, and 0 to our time t of 3t squared i plus 4t cubed k dt. So that's going to give us r minus 3i plus 2j plus 5k equals t cubed i plus t to the fourth k. So simplifying, solving for r, that's going to give us t cubed plus 3 i plus 2 j plus 5 plus t to the fourth k feet. And now we're just going to use t equals one second. So everywhere we have a t, we're just going to plug in one. So r is going to equal one cubed plus three i plus two j plus five plus one to the fourth k feet. So that is going to simplify out to give us our final answer, which is 4i plus 2j plus 6k. So in our xyz coordinates, that's going to give us 4, 2, and 6. So let's look at one more. So
So the velocity of a particle is given by v equals this expression in meters per second, where t is in seconds. If the particle is at the origin when t equals zero, determine the magnitude of the particle's acceleration when t equals two seconds. Also, what is the xyz coordinate position of the particle at this instant? So we know that acceleration is the derivative of the velocity with respect to time. And we are going to take this expression that we've been given for velocity, 16 t squared i plus 4 t cubed j plus 5 t plus 2 k. So this looks a little bit frightening at first, but really these are going to just give us really simple um, derivatives and integrals as we're going through. So if we take the derivative of this expression to give us the acceleration, that's going to solve out to give us 32 t i plus 12 t squared j plus 5k. So there we go, right there, that is our acceleration expression. And we want to know what the acceleration is at 2 seconds. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plug in, everywhere we have a t, we're going to plug in 2. So 32i plus 12 times 2 squared j plus 5k, and that is going to give us 64i plus 48j plus 5k meters per second squared. So that right there is our acceleration at t equals 2 seconds. So now, they really want the magnitude of the acceleration. And that's just going to be the square root of the sum of the squares of the components of the acceleration vector. So writing that out. So that is going to be 64 squared plus 48 squared plus 5 squared and the square root of that. So that's going to solve out to be about 80 meters per second squared. At t equals 2 seconds. magnitude. So now we want to find the x, y, and z coordinate position of the particle at this instant. So I'm going to clear this to give us a little more space, but we're going to kind of approach this very much like we approach a lot of our problems. So we know v equals d over dt of the position vector. So we know what our velocity v equals oops, 16 t squared i plus 4 t cubed j plus 5 t plus 2 k. So we're going to take the integral from 0 to r dr equals 0, because our time is t equals 0 at the origin, of this expression, 16 t squared i plus 4 t cubed j plus 5 t plus 2 k. D, T. 
And we can do this because if we just switch here, we have that'll give us dr equals v dt, which is what we are going to do down here. So this is going to solve out to give us r equals 16 over 3 t cubed i plus t 4 j plus 5 over 2 t squared plus 2 t k. And that's going to be in meters. So at t equals 2 seconds, we're going to just plug in 2. So that'll give us 16 over 3 times 2 cubed i plus 2 to the 4 j plus 5 over 2. Oops. 5 over 2, 2 squared plus 2 times 2, k. And when we work all of that out, that will give us r equals 42.7i plus 16j plus 14k. So in Cartesian coordinates, that'll just solve out to give us 42.7 for our x, 16 for our y, and 14 for our z. And there we go. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps support my channel and helps me continue making videos for you guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps support my channel and helps me continue making videos for you guys. I'll see you next time.